Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Yechi here. Came in here looking all pink, okay? You know. What am I doing? Okay, let's get serious. Hey guys, hey beautifuls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yechi here with a new video, okay? Today we're gonna be going right into my camera settings. I cannot count the amount of time I've been asked different different questions about how I get like really good video quality you know some people say the older oh, use a camera too but the quality isn't all that this and that so today's video I'm going to be sharing my camera settings guys I do not do the most I don't do the most when it comes to filming because I like my videos to still look natural just as it is like from the camera and I don't stress too much because I'm not really into tech. Like I'm not really into like gears and all the whole breakdown, knowing all those things and all. Even when it comes to my editing, I'm a very simple person. So I'm going to be teaching you guys simple things that I do on my camera. This is solely on my camera to get a very good video quality. Now this is either for Instagram videos, for YouTube videos, for any type of video you want to do, as long as it's on the camera, I'm going to be sharing my settings with you guys. So I'm going to tell you how I, you know, tweak things around on my camera from the default settings and then make it what I used to film my videos. So if you like my current look, my hair is from Just Inches. I'm going to leave a link to that Instagram page. This unit I totally, totally love. If you've seen my previous vlogs, you guys will see the video where I installed this and also I absolutely like the curl. Okay, I decided to go a little bit glam today because I still have like other videos to shoot that require like really good makeup. So I just decided to, you know, pop on something really nice and then, you know, some color also with the lips and also with the hair. But now to the camera settings. Um, I always do the minimum and Funny how I get asked a lot, Yechi, how do you color grade your videos? What filter do you use? What effect do you use? And guys, up to date, I do not color grade my videos. I don't know how to color grade. It's still something that I want to learn going forward. But currently, I don't color grade. So when I go into my editing software, the things that I do, cut, join, trim, add music, cut from different parts, put it together. Maybe I can tweak my audio in it and that's that but what comes out from the camera in terms of like the whole look of the video i do not tamper with it while i'm editing so i always make sure my video is exactly what i want in production so i don't have to tweak anything in post-production okay so this has helped me a lot it also reduces the amount of time i spend editing because i don't have to like tweak how my colors are in editing all i have to do is do cut trim join add music and then boom add text also and we have a video so this has helped me reduce time okay so i'm gonna jump right into it so we're doing basic things i'm not gonna talk too much nothing because i actually do like the most basic things okay so going into my camera i currently film with the canon m50 that's what i'm currently using to film this particular video this has been my baby since the beginning of this year and i have been enjoying you know how i use it i use it for vlogs i use it for sit down videos i use it for my styling videos i use it for filming like instagram reels too it is like my go-to camera for any type of content with this camera i use my sigma 30 mm lens that's what i'm currently using i use my sigma 16 mm lens the 16 mm lens is better for vlogs and also for like styling videos on instagram that's what i use currently so i do like you know the two different functions i get from the lens now that's that about my gear my settings are not exactly so different from what i did on my canon 700d it's basically the same thing the major difference would be the kind of lens that I was using and of course your lens adds a lot goes a long way when it comes to your video quality and how your video comes out so i'm just going to jump right into my settings if you have a canon camera okay this is something that you can also do as i'm doing and just you know take note either you have a camera or you're about to buy a camera so now let's dive into 
my camera settings so the first thing i do is i shoot on manual i remove it from auto you can get so much more out of your camera in terms of quality when you switch from auto to manual so i simply jump into my menu i just change and this is either for picture or for video i will switch my camera settings to manual so i can play around with my settings i can get more from my camera than you know just leaving it on auto so please switch from auto to manual. I know that if you're a beginner, when I started out, I was always using auto to film. I felt like the settings were too complicated for me. But one day I decided to sit down and I'm like, okay, you know the setting things, I'm actually gonna shoot on manual and I'm gonna learn how to do it. So guys, it's very easy to shoot on manual. Don't think that, you know, you have to be a videographer proper or a cinematographer before you understand your camera operations. I'm not a tech person. But at least I understand it to an extent. Okay, now to my basic recording settings, there are three things that I play around with. One is the ISO, two is the aperture, and the last one is the shutter speed. So these are the three things that I tweak for basic editing. So these are the, they are the foundation of your video, basically. Foundation, really. Anything you build on top of that is addition. But once you get those three settings done, you're good to go for filming. So first of all, we're gonna start with the shutter speed because it is like the most important thing when it comes to filming videos. So there's a basic rule. Your shutter speed should be two times your recording frames per second. You'll see it there as FPS. So jump into your settings and know what you're filming with. I film HD videos and I use 25 frames per second. So that means that my shutter speed should be 25 times two, which is 50. So I fix my shutter speed to be 50 frames per second throughout the video. I don't tweak it during vlogs. I don't tweak it during sit down videos. That's what I currently use to film my videos. It is amazing. It is just perfect. So sometimes different cameras, different settings, yours could be higher. Yours could be a little bit lower than that, maybe about 23, but just so that you should work with double whatever frames per second you're currently using and fix that as your shutter speed on your camera. So next would be your aperture. Your aperture is something else you can tweak. It determines how much light your lens will let into. So this is determined by your lens. The range is determined by your lens. But luckily for me, I use a Sigma 30 mm lens. So this particular lens can go as low as 1.4 for the aperture. When I was using my Canon 700D and the 50mm lens, I could go as far as 1.8, but this one I can go further than 1.8. I can go down to 1.4. So currently, this helps with your blurry background, how blurry your background is, and also helps your videos get brighter too. So I like to reduce this to a low number, about 2.0. I don't like to go too low, so I usually play safe around 2.0 because when I do 1.4, I usually have issues with my autofocus, how quick the camera can focus on objects as I move. So I usually play safe and keep it at about 2.0. Even for sit down videos, I remain sharp and I still have a good background blur. So I keep it at 2.0 and I leave it there throughout my video. This might change if I'm outside and I'm doing vlogs. When it's very bright, like very, very bright, I can now drop it to about maybe six or drop it further to like eight. But most of the time when I'm outside, I try to keep it around that number because if you try to do 1.4 outside, you're just gonna film a white clip. Nobody's gonna see what you're filming. So I always try to tweak my settings when I'm outside so that it can fit the particular environment that I'm in and the quality can still be the bump. So the last thing would be your ISO, okay? You have ISO from about 100 to I think about 6,400 or 12,000. 800 yeah so the iso also you know determines how bright your videos would be and to me this is determined by how much light you're using to film currently i'm using two soft boxes so i have enough light so i usually play with my iso at about 125 160 that's the range that i would normally go for so if you don't have enough light you can do about 400 okay but i would not advise you to go higher than 800. This is because if you go really high, your video is going to be quite grainy. Like you would see, it won't be that bam quality, okay? So your video is gonna be 
grainy it wouldn't be as clear and as crisp as it should be so i play between 100 and 400 i try not to pass those lines okay if it's not bright enough i add external light maybe my ring light led lights like i would use in my room in ibadan because it just wasn't bright enough for me there so those are my basic settings the shutter speed the aperture the iso that's what i usually play around with sometimes i reduce my iso to 100 and I kind of leave it there. That's majorly when I'm doing styling videos because it's usually very, very, very bright with how I turn my camera and I'm quite close to my camera and I'm using my Sigma 16mm. So the 16mm is much closer to me. So I don't need it to be very, very, very bright. Okay. So those are like my basic settings for the video quality. So now we're going to jump into my color settings. Now this is what makes up the colors that are popping in this video, like my skin, like my lip gloss, like my background, also the little colors that I have on there. So this is like the filter that I do on my camera for my video, okay? So just tweak around with the color settings just so that your girl remains popping and I don't have to do any form of color grading when I'm doing my editing okay okay so first thing I do is I go into my menu and I go into my shooting settings and I change my picture style so normally your camera will come on auto picture style but I use neutral I like neutral because it's just soft and then really beautiful so I click on neutral and the next thing that I do is to tweak the settings in neutral so normally when you pick it it's on default mode okay so what I do is I start with my strength the strength is on the zero side and i increase it by one so next we go into the contrast i drop the contrast by two i don't like contrast even in my pictures i reduce the contrast like crazy while i'm editing then i increase my saturation this is so that my skin can pop a little bit more in the video and then i also increase the color tone just by one so this just helps with the total feel of the whole video so even when i go outside and i'm shooting vlogs i still get a soft video but the colors are still a bit vibrant. So everything you're seeing now is a product of those settings. So still on color, another thing that I do is to tweak my white balance. Now this is totally optional. I never did this on my former camera. Never ever did I go into my white balance to tweak it a bit, but I just like to adjust it a little bit more because it kind of gives that extra hmm, on your video. So I just tweak it a little bit. So I increase the red by one. Okay, that's A1 and I also do m1 this just helps with the color of my skin too and just makes me pop a little bit more and i decided to do that for this particular video because i have red on here on my shirt and also my lip too so just make sure those particular colors are popping i like my videos warm okay so that's why i go towards the warm side of the white balance and i don't bother to go into the cool side because i don't really like a cool video i like that warmth okay this is really good if you're going to be doing like skincare videos so your skin can pop because cameras can make your skin look very very pale and it looks like what's going on like why is it what i am this is what i filmed so i do you know like that extra you know warmth on my video just so that the video can pop so the last thing would be my sound settings okay guys i feel like when people look at videos the feel of videos they kind of forget sound so sometimes you look perfect you look beautiful your camera settings everything is sharp i can see you clearly in the video but the sound settings are not always the best so there's background noise there's fluctuation also sometimes your background is louder than you and it's just very hard to watch those type of videos because whether you like it or not, your audio is like 50% of your video, okay? Unless you're going to be maybe adding sound, music and all, then if you're doing those type of videos, then you don't really need to do much with your audio. You really don't need to do anything actually. But if you're going to be doing talking videos like this, then please, you need to adjust your sound settings on your camera. So the first thing I do for my sound settings, I take it off auto to manual because auto is totally annoying when your sound setting is put on auto it is literally looking for sound to pick okay so it is going to amplify any sound that is available so moments when you're not talking the sound will be amplified you can hear background noise you can hear your ac you can hear your fan you can hear maybe anything that's going on in the next compound those kind of pauses while you're talking so even if you pause for a little while you're not be hearing 
because when it's on auto the camera is literally pick, looking for sound to pick because he knows that you're recording so he's looking for oh what she's saying what's going on what's happening so it's not really the best if you want to be doing sit down videos so this helps to minimize background noise this helps to you know ensure that your audio is crisp and you're clear so take it off auto and then take it to manual so this is my sound now I'm filming on auto so I'm sure you can hear background noise I'm sure you can it's not as crisp the voice might even sound like an echo if you're kind of in an empty room or a room that doesn't have like so much um, things inside so it is not the best if you want to be doing sit down videos this can be overlooked in vlogs but in sit down videos mm -mm, don't do it please just change your settings to Manual. So now we are back to manual. Another thing for you to set is your sound recording level. This is perfect, especially if you have a microphone. Now, the lower you go on this particular setting, the more sensitive your camera is to sound just around it. So it picks less sound, you know, from your background, from your environment, and it focuses more on your voice that is closer to the camera. Okay, so this is perfect if you have a microphone just like mine here. So you're able to drop your recording level to almost the minimum so i usually stay about the one mark range and i just keep it there this is perfect my voice is still very clear so when i dropped it to just about one the fan is currently on but you can't see the sound fluctuations from the fan because the fan is not close enough for it to pick that sound so this is important and plays a very huge role in your recording your sound and how crisp your audio is when you're recording okay you can decide to tweak it if you want to be doing vlogs i want to pick more sound from the environment okay i usually don't pass the second mark range because it's just going to bring in unnecessary noise that would just be greater than your voice and you don't want that for your video so the last thing i'm going to talk about is my focus while i'm filming so currently with the m50 i keep my focus on auto focus not manual focus and this is because the face detection on this one is perfect like as i'm moving closer to you the focus is still perfect. If I move back, my face is still going to be in focus, okay? I don't play around with this particular one. But on my Canon 700D, I used to film my sit-down videos on manual focus. So I fix my focus before I start filming. And I have to remain on that particular spot till I'm done filming. So this one was a bit stressful. And this is because the lens I was using then had a very annoying autofocus. So it does that... When he's trying to focus and sometimes you blur for about five seconds and that's you talking and then you're not in focus so just to be on the safe side i used to record all my videos on manual focus but now with my canon m50 i use auto focus and this is because it just focuses easily and i don't hear any noise and all the sigma 30 mm lens is great the focus is perfect okay and that just contributes to my whole video quality. All right, guys, so that's it about this video. Okay, let me know if you have more tips in the comment section. Let me know anything you want me to talk about in the comment section regards filming, regards creating content, okay? And I'll definitely answer it in another video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't. You got this far. You might as well just subscribe because I know you like seeing my face. Yes, so I'll see you guys in my next video, which should be later this week. Bye.